Hey, Jimmy people, how will the Mad Mud Duck back here? Fucking Christmas 2019. So this is Christmas. All right. So I'm still pissed at the fucking bitch about getting in my truck and stealing the knife my mother gave me back in 93 for Christmas. Then held on to the whole time while I was in prison. And then when I got home, gave it back to me. When I told her that if her boyfriend ever jumps on me, I'll cut him like a fucking trout. And 20 minutes later, she's knocking on my bedroom door and giving me back my fucking shred skin and knife. Not an old timer, but a shred at, uh, at uh, 520 FC Scrimshaw. I'm pissed because the sentimental value on that is fucking price was, it's probably about a $200. $50 knife right now, but uh, it's going to cost her to replace it. I'm getting tired of my goddamn kindness being mistaken for weakness. Her brother keeps saying, well, tell me what she stole, then I'll replace it. Okay, I want $40 for the goddamn glass pipe she took out of the seat. I want $20 for the goddamn eight to weed she took out of the seat. And I want oh two thousand dollars for my fucking knife. We'll put a value of two thousand dollars on it. Or I'm gonna beat her goddamn ass with a baseball bat. I'm gonna break a goddamn kneecap or her fingers or something. Let her know you don't fucking steal from me. Two things you don't do. You don't touch my tools and get into my tools and you don't fucking steal from me. Your dad texted me evidently five cops stopped her a half a dozen times last night decided her hooker ass wasn't worth taking in. And evidently she came home, so I'm sitting here in the truck looking down, watching her fucking motor home, because the first time I see life down there, I'm going down beating her goddamn ass to get my shit back. I ain't too fucking happy. I had to go with the fucking replacement knife. The old timer. And this is a 152 OT. And that son of a bitch ain't cut nuts. And yet, that son of a bitch is razor really sharp. And in the old days, I'd have cut her goddamn throat for stealing from her. Killing her ain't fucking worth it right now. I'm going to let her know she fucked up. She doesn't know how much trouble she's in. I don't see where it's acceptable to steal from me. I ain't got fucking much left of what little I got I'm fucking touchy about. My knife and my pipe got taken by the five cops that talked to her a half dozen times yesterday according to the text her dad gave me. Her dad's been sending me texts because evidently I'm the only one that can fucking control her. And I have no control over her. I'm going to beat her goddamn ass though. I think I'm going to give her the choice. Either you pay me back, you give me back my shit, or you pay me what it's fucking worth, or I'm just going to break your goddamn fingers with a baseball bat. I ain't fucking happy. Me and my brother texted back and forth all night, and he wants to send over some of his friends. I guess they were friends of mine, but uh, to me, I just see them as acquaintances from the past. He says they were friends, so... His friends, maybe. He wants to send a couple of his female friends over to whoop her ass. I'm 
not fucking happy at all. Took my good glass pipe, my driving pipe, and my fucking knife. So I'm sitting here waiting for my brother to text me back. Usually he shoots me a number for some money on Friday, but I woke up to no propane going. The bottle of propane only lasted five days. They normally last anywhere from seven to eleven and I'm just wondering about that. Everything I had into keeping her fucking healthy and alive and fed and warm. What do I get paid back as?